Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Wednesday the 9th. I have not vlogged at all. Also, I'm trying this mic without the little sound diffuser thing because I don't like how muffled it sounds before I decide to invest in a new mic, so. Because I love the quality of this camera. I just can't seem to get the sound just right, but. Yeah, so my vlogs have been weird. The last two, get out of here. Get out, Optimus. So my last two vlogs like abruptly end, I think. So, um, yeah, it's just really crazy. So this past weekend, so Friday, Brian and I went on a date. So um, I don't even remember what all I did Friday during the day. I just know that like it just ended. I don't even remember what I did last Thursday. I think I stayed home with the boys, so I did not keep the car last Thursday. And that's probably why I'm starting to feel, or why I was starting to feel the way that I felt. Friday, Brian and I went on a date. Um, I really cannot remember what I did during the day Friday. Saturday, the boys had games all day and it was 90 degrees this weekend, so it was really hot. We were super, um, super exhausted from being in the heat. So Saturday, I woke up, I fixed the boys' pool again. We found a ton of holes. We found a ton of holes in the boys' pool. So I tried my best to like tape them and fix them. And then when we filled up water, we found more holes. So I was like, okay, but we still let them play in it over the weekend. So Saturday morning, I set it up, found the holes, circled the holes that I did find. Then we went to the boys' games. Now, y'all just being done outside, came back, left the boys' game, went to Lowe's, picked up the stuff to fix the pool, came back home, thought we were fixing the pool. <laughs> we were not. And uh, I need to buy a new hose for their pool, too. And so the boys played in the pool for hours, and that's why I really, I really want to try to salvage this one rather than just trashing it. Cause all it, like, there's just a few more holes that I found that need to be patched up, and we still have stuff to fix it. And then we just need to replace the hose, and then I think we're Gucci for the summer. Um, but I am kind of mad that we wasted so much water this weekend. And then Sunday we went to church. Went to church Sunday, and then the first Sunday of every month is our fellowship day at church. And it was at a park this Sunday, this past Sunday. So I was really, really tired because again, 90 degree weather, we were outside. So we spent like all weekend outside from Friday to Sunday. And we were just so exhausted come Monday. Like we missed the gym a few times. Um, I debated on playing catch up with the workouts, but at this point, like I'm just too far behind because we didn't go to the gym Monday. I didn't work out yesterday. So I'm just gonna start where I'm at. So I'm just gonna, today I'm just gonna start where I'm at and just charge into the game because Friday and Saturday I couldn't work out because when I worked out Thursday I hurt my foot. My foot still kind of hurt so I did it on Monday so I was like okay like I really don't want to work out on it. And then Tuesday um, my foot was a little bit better but yesterday I was just really really down like just really depressed. Optimus got into a dog fight because while I was taking him out in the morning um, another girl was walking her dog on our property and if you know the American bully breed, they're very possessive, very territorial, and very protective over their family. So Optimus went to bark at that dog, and at first Optimus was just going to play with the dog, but the other dog got aggressive, so obviously any being, any creature, any creation is going to defend themselves. So Optimus started fighting with the dog, but Optimus is a fairly trained good dog, so when I called his name, he stopped and he was gonna come back to me, but then the dog like pawed him. So Optimus turned around to fight again. And so I, um, mind you, I already ran over there by this point in time, like I already ran to Optimus. So when I was running to Optimus, I was like, Optimus, stop. And like, so he's about to come back to me. All of this happened in a span of two minutes. Like the things that can happen in the matter of like the blink of an eye, like all this happened in two minutes. And so I went and I chased after him. As soon as he ran off, I ran off because I never know what he's doing and the time that I took him out like usually there's no one outside like I take Optimus out at very specific times of the day because there's nobody outside walking their dogs or anything like that but now like Brian and I just agree like we have to start taking him out on a leash because we just never know um and that is my fault too but also why are you on my property with your dog doesn't justify it um her dog did not get hurt because her dog was a little bit a little bit taller than Optimus Optimus was definitely more stout but her dog was a little bit taller. So anyways, when I call Optimus, he's about to come back. Dog paws him, so Optimus turns around to keep fighting. And then 
I'm finally like, I reach to grab Optimus to keep him from fighting, and then the other dog almost like bites me, so I move my hand real quick. The girl pulls her dog's leash. If your dog is in a fight, do not pull it by its leash. Grab its collar. So the dog almost bites me. I move my hand. She pulls, like she pulls back real quick. And right as I go, so like as soon as I see that she moved her dog, like I went back in and grabbed Optimus' collar. And right as I'm pulling Optimus back, the dog grabs Optimus' face right here. And so I tell her, like, get your dog. Like, get your dog off my dog. Her dog has no training. It's not listening to her. Does not know her voice. Um, Optimus is listening to me and like trying to like stop. Like Optimus is like listening. Ah, 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 come here. She's not getting her dog, so I start punching her dog in the dog's jaw because you know like any dog, but especially like pit bulls, bullies, any kind of bulldog, any kind of dog from the bull family, they'll get locked jaw really, really fast. So as soon as, as soon as her dog bites my dog lock jaw so i punch it real hard on the jaw one time it lets go a little bit so when it lets go i move optimus but then it immediately snapped back down so i punch her dog a few more times and i'm like get your dog i was like i'm asking you nicely to like get your dog off my dog call your dog off so she's just standing there screaming at the dog like no rocky no like just standing there screaming the whole time like not actually like grab i don't know if she was too scared to like grab her dog or what but like all she was doing was like pulling the leash the whole time and so i'm still punching her dog until your dog lets go of my dog and i always told brian too like i wish a dog would attack my dog because i'm a fight <laughs> like the same way if one of my kids was getting hurt like i'm gonna try to break it up and look where's where's the parents at because they can get these hands too like that's just how i feel christian or not like you're not gonna come for me or mine <laughs> And so, um, so I finally, like I stopped punching her dog and I calm myself down and I tell her, I'm like, this is what you need to do. And I know this because I've had to deal with it with Optimus because when he tries to like get a hold of things that he's not supposed to, like he'll lock his jaw. Like, and I'm like, if I'm trying to take something out of his mouth, like he'll lock his jaw. And I've learned that if you pinch, like if you grab a dog like this and pinch their jaw, it'll open. So I told her, I said, look, I said, what you need to do is grab your dog's jaw and squeeze it. She's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? And I'm like, get your hand, grab your dog's jaw, squeeze it. And so the second, the second she, the dog lets go. And I'm like, well, this could have ended a long time. Even though it was two minutes ago, like it was long enough for Optimus to get hurt. Um, but I did get on the Optimus because I was like, see, that's why you can't just be bucking up to every dog. And so, um... Optimus lets go. His eye is swollen. He has a cut. He has a laceration on his eye, but that's about it. He had like a few bite marks, like on his cheek and under his chin, and like on one of his paws. I think the paw though was like the other dog clawed his paw. So I've just been cleaning it with peroxide and putting um, lavender and aloe on it, and it seems to be healing up really, really fast. Like it already looks way better than yesterday, but now his like blood vessels in his eyes can show that like there was strain because originally the dog had his like whole tooth in Optimus eye so that's when I originally punched him and so he let go and I moved him and then he grabbed Optimus jaw and cheek and so I was like okay like I'd rather him bite that than his eye but overall Optimus is good but it was really frustrating to me like I just felt so defeated because I just got Optimus sick that's what happened Friday that's why I didn't vlog Friday Friday Optimus got sick he wasn't eating he wasn't uh drinking he was throwing up every time he would eat and so I was like what is going on so it took me forever to figure out what was going on with him and it's because I had gave him a food that like I alternate Optimus between two different foods the Kindful brand at Target and the Pure Balance Pro from Walmart and so he's had both foods interchangeably and I know that that's not good for dogs and I've learned my lesson if I'm ever going to switch Optimus food again I'm going to do it slowly but I didn't think anything of it because he had that Kindful brand before he had that kind of full brand before like no issues and so like i didn't think anything of it i was like it can't be the food so i tried to feed it to him and i when i would hand feed it to him he would eat it but he would throw it right back up and it would be whole or he would keep it down but he would have diarrhea and the food would be whole so like you know i went to where everyone goes i went to tiktok asked for some advice and um so there was a lot of people were like give him pumpkin puree give him like you know dogs can have pedialyte and um, give him like chicken and rice. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try the chicken and rice because that's something that I have on hand 
We only have one vehicle, so I can't be running back and forth to the store and Walmart charges like additional fees if you're not buying like a certain amount of money worth of stuff for delivery. And so I'm like, okay, 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 like, okay, fine. So I feed him, I make him the chicken and rice, whole, throws it up, whole, like nothing is chewed. So I'm like, okay, I think I know what the issue is. I don't think he's chewing his food. So I was like, okay, so um, come Monday, he's, or, so come Sunday, I'm feeding him by hand, but I'm only feeding him his treats that we have. So that way he at least has something on his stomach because again, I didn't get paid till Monday, so I couldn't buy him the new food and I didn't have a ride to take the old food back to Target to at least get some money back. I still haven't taken it back to Target because Brian's had to work, at, has had to leave the house by 5 a.m. every morning and I'm, I'm not getting up at 4. So uh, yeah, um, so I was just hand feeding him finally got paid on Monday, ordered the stuff for delivery. I got him a slow feeder and I went back to the Pure Balance Pro brand of food and I got him the ones where sensitive skin and sensitive stomach because he does itch his skin a lot, like uncomfortably a lot to where like it, to where like it's annoying whenever you hear him itch because it's all day. But, um, and I got him some Pedialyte and it's everything. And I started his feeding him off with like very small portions than what we usually feed him. And so I'm starting to slowly up his portions that way his stomach can handle it. But it seems to work with the slow feeder and the electrolytes. He hasn't been sick since. And so, like I said, when he was attacked, when he got into that fight, I don't want to say he was attacked because Optimus kind of was the aggressor. So whenever he got into that fight yesterday, like I just felt so defeated because I was like, man, I'm like I just got him healthy and now I have to take care of his wounds which like I don't mind it but Monday and Tuesday like it was extremely hard for me to get out of the bed like but I made myself do it because I was like no Allie like we are not going to dwell in depression we are not going to allow the enemy to get us stuck and I would force myself to get out of the bed and then Monday I was like I'm just so tired because remember like all weekend like we were outside all weekend we were outside and so, like we never really rested at all so like, now I'm so tired, I'm so tired. So I wanted to take a nap and then old Allie's brain started talking to her from whenever I was in the abusive relationship and my brain told me, my thoughts told me were like, if you take a nap, he's gonna get mad and he's gonna hit you when he finds you asleep. And I was like, I was like, no, I was like that, I'm not there. Like Brian has never lifted a finger towards me. Like Brian has never hurt me intentionally like that. Like. Brian doesn't hit me and I'm like, why do I feel like this? But I've been doing a lot of healing hip op opening exercises to like heal my past trauma. And so I think those feelings came up in a row and I had to deal with them. And I had to tell myself like, you're not there. And so whenever I finally did take a nap, then I started having dreams of going through things that, that I was in, that I went through in the past and things like that. And it was just hard to relive because whenever you go through an abusive relationship and like you're on the other side of it, you're like, I'm healed, I'm safe, I'm healed, I'm safe. And then something, anything, anything can trigger it. Because I can honestly say, I don't think I've been as exhausted as I was Monday since I was in that abusive relationship. Like I felt like I could never get rest, I could never sleep, like I could never, do anything and so I really honestly don't think like I've felt as safe as I do now and like I just I don't know I really don't know I don't know if it was the trauma healing stretches or if it was just like that feeling of feeling that exhausted and like my mind was just breaking down or whatever the case was so Monday I was out and so then Tuesday Monday night I had dreams of Brian you know like stepping out on our marriage and like he just had no care for it like i would find like this this is a dream preface <laughs> this is a dream disclaimer this is a dream and so like in my dream like he was just leaving like condoms everywhere like he would leave the bed undone like letting me know and i think still that was still my mind telling me that brian was is like my ex which is not the truth like i truth i think that was my brain telling me that like oh he's just like your ex and he's not so it's like the enemy likes to play into my mind and be like, oh, like you thought you were safe. You thought you, you had a man of God. And it's like, I do, but I hate that the enemy attack, like, like, and it just shows you how weak he truly is, is that he attacks you in your sleep. He attacks you when you have, when you're unprepared because I had not been in the word the way I should Monday and Tuesday uh, or Monday or Sunday and Monday. Like, even though I went to church, like I didn't do all my devotionals that I do for myself. Monday, I just, I didn't have the want to. I did my daily devotional and that was it. 
And so come Tuesday morning, like I already woke up, like just feeling like so defeated, like so tired. And that's how you know that you are going through spiritual warfare. When you just feel exhausted, your body feels hung over, that is a spiritual attack. Like you have to recognize these things. So I started praying like, so Monday I've already started praying like, Lord, like please fill me with your Holy Spirit. Help me discern these feelings. Like allow me to rest in your peace. And Monday, I, at, towards the end of Monday, I did start to feel peace. So when I went to bed and I slept all day Monday, like, so I didn't wake up till like eight on Monday, fed the boys. We watched some homeschool videos, went back to sleep at 11. Didn't wake up till two. We ate, Brian got home. We fell asleep at like six, didn't wake up till 10.30, and then we went back to bed at midnight and fell asleep. And so it was just like so much sleep, but like I feel like I needed that rest. Like even yesterday, I needed that rest. So I don't know, I was being heavily spiritually attacked. And so yesterday when I uploaded yesterday's um, devotion on TikTok, like I wrote in the caption, I was like, please pray for me. Like depression is knocking on my door because it, it was the spirit of depression. The spirit of depression is what was trying to get me down. Like it was trying to lock me down because when I'm depressed, I don't feel like being in the word. When I'm depressed, I can't lean on God. Not saying that, I will say, I am unable to like it's really hard for me because then I'm just like Lord like why do I have to go through these feelings and then not to mention Mondays are still really hard for me because Mondays used to be the days that I would go hang out with my dad because he didn't have dialysis and like he had rested enough from having dialysis on Saturday that you know like I would take the boys to visit him and I still have and so every Monday I feel like man like there's something I'm supposed to be doing. Like, why do I feel like I'm in a rush? Because I'm a homeschool mom. We don't have like practices or anything like that on Mondays. And so I'm like, why do I feel like there's something? Like, I still have that feeling. And then every time I'm like, why do I feel like there's something I'm supposed to be doing? Then I think of my dad and I'm like, oh, I'm supposed to be going to see him. And I can't. <laughs> and that was before I had tried to start working. I would go see him. But then I had got my job and I just wouldn't, a lot of regret. Let me put my clothes on, hold on. All right, we are dressed. Now it's time to do our hair. So yeah, it's just, it's been a really rough week for me mentally. And I also think it's because we're coming up on the five month mark since my dad has passed away. And it actually lands on Mother's Day and my sister's birthday. So. And then next month is my dad's birthday, June 1st. And it reminds me of my son Ethan because Ethan and my dad share the birth share birthday month or birth month. They share the same birth month. Um, so my dad's birthday is June first. Ethan's birthday is June twenty first. And when Ethan was born, he was actually born on Father's Day. And so every year, my dad was like, "It's Father's Day, Happy Birthday, little Ethan!" Like Ethan <laughs> wasn't his actual birthday because he just always said like, "Nope, his birthday is Father's Day" because he says that. Ethan was his Father's Day gift for me because, yeah. Grandparents and parents like to say they don't play favorites, but they do. <laughs> and so, yeah, he would always say, it's my, my grandson, sweet little precious angel. So it's just really hard. These next few months are gonna be really hard. I have y'all set up on like the most <laughs> dangerous rig right now to be I love one. <laughs> but yeah, so. That is why I have not vlogged. It's just been a lot. I was gonna vlog mine and Brian's date, but I was like, man, we haven't had a date in so long. Like, I wanna cherish it. Saturday though, me and my friend are gonna go out for dinner and I wanna take you guys along. I'll have to ask her if she's okay with me. Vlogged, I feel like, <laughs> except for Raquel, every time I show a friend on my YouTube channel, like, the friendship has gone downhill. <laughs> If you know, I've only shown one friendship on my social media. So I've been very cautious. I mean, outside of Raquel, of course. But it's because y'all, I'm just not the type of person. Like, like if you tell me you want something for yourself, like, better believe, like, I'm gonna be on your tail about that. So, like, for instance, my little sister, like, she, was, she, she tells me, like, I just want to get smarter with our finances. I just want to, like, learn how to budget better. So you know what I do? Like every day, like every time I come across something that's budgeting or teaching people how to budget, like I send it to her. How are you doing on your budget? What are your finances looking like? Like, like I'm that friend, that sister. Like when you tell me you want to improve in an area, like, oh, 
I'm on your tail about it because what we're not, what I'm not gonna do is be like let you fail, let you give up. Like that's what I'm not gonna do. Also, this gel here, I will link it and also put it on my Amazon storefront. Best gel, and it's cheaper than the Auntie Jackie's, which is also another one of my favorites. These are the gold diamond earrings that Brian got me for our anniversary this last year. It's crazy. In 2022, we will be married for seven years in October. This this time, like April. March, April is around the time that we met online in 2016. May, June, July is like when we started talking about being, like what we expect, like what we wanted in life, like speaking to the opposite sex. And then July is whenever we started dating. July 4th of 2016 is when I was like, you my man now. <laughs> All right guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. Um, I'm filming a TikTok morning routine because I have to post my, I'm a Jobby Coffee affiliate, so they just released their protein coffee. So good. Oh, this is 26 minutes long, so I don't know. Maybe I should just post this by itself or maybe y'all will enjoy this. All right, you guys. It is currently, I think, almost one o'clock. Whoa, let's see. Yeah, well, it is one o'clock. Um, paid the bills. I started my Roman study that I showed you guys last time. Hold on, I have it on the table here. So I started this Roman study finally. What I was doing was I was waiting until I was either done with BSF or until I finished my Wife After God study or the book that I'm reading. <laughs> BSF ended first. So, and I haven't been doing BSF for like the last two weeks, and I definitely felt it within my spirit. Um, after spending so much time with God today, I think that that's why I was feeling how I was feeling Monday and Tuesday is I was quenching my spirit. I was quenching the Holy Spirit within me. So um, we got that back on track. I'm not done with day one because day one in that usually in the Daily Grace Co studies is to read all the chap like read all of the book. And so there's 16 chapters in Romans. So I read half. Um, then I am getting my video uploaded for YouTube. Yeah, I'm getting my video loaded uploaded for YouTube. It should be up by three o'clock. And we are starting homeschool. We're starting late because, like I said, I was really trying to finish that Roman study. But once I hit chapter nine, I was just like, okay, like I'm obviously not going to get this done before homeschool, so I'll finish it during the boys' nap today. But like I said, right now we have started homeschool we've really been enjoying doing it here in the living room so yeah we're just gonna finish this we missed tuesday which was yesterday so we're gonna have to do school for this friday but that's all right that's why friday is there as a makeup day so we're gonna just finish school eat lunch i already made lunch it's in the oven staying warm i made fish sticks for the boys fish fillets for me and french fries so for all of us but uh, yeah, just wanted to update you guys we are going to finish school all right you guys school is done um I'm about to sit down and eat lunch. I was taking some pictures for another sponsored post. Ooh, God has been good. God is God is so good. This is why whenever you work with these brands that seem like, okay, like I don't really know about this, but I'm telling you, if you're trying to be an influencer, especially if you're on TikTok and you have the 10,000 you can get in the marketplace, apply for everything because a lot of those people will work with you continuously outside of TikTok. So apply for all the campaigns that you can. You may get a million no's, but guess what? Once you get that one yes, the yeses start rolling in, and that's what I've been doing. And God is so good. Like, I just don't believe like I'd be able, like I'd be where I am without God. And it was it was a long journey. Some for some people, it does happen overnight. It didn't happen like that for me. Me being a follower of Christ and abiding by His statutes and limitations and standing for what I stand for, I knew that this was going to be a slow journey for me, and I'm completely okay with that. But anyways. <laughs> All of that aside, that was just kind of catch you up on my afternoon after we finish school. Now I am finally eating lunch, still getting this video uploaded because I need to add a couple of links. But other than that, that's what I'm doing, you guys. All right, you guys. So I finally finished reading all of Romans, all 16 chapters. The last three chapters, I believe, or four chapters, 13 through 16, I ended up just playing on my phone because... I, I should have did that from the beginning like my brain is to where like I need to listen to it as I read it 
or like I can't stay engaged and that's exactly what happened today as well as I like to do like little chores as I'm as I listen to it and so whenever I did it that way like I breeze through it so I just whenever we get back um, I'll probably do the study tonight along with my other three devotionals because I do need to get um, day one complete that was a lot of reading though to read all of Romans and it was hard to read Romans because if you if you've ever wrote, read the Old Testament you know it's hard to get through just because like the way the wording is and like this person and that person and through this lineage this came and like Romans chapter 9 through 11 were really hard for me to get through because it it was very much written like the Old Testament but he's also referencing Isaiah a lot in Romans 9 through 11 so but we made it through it um I feel good um I I I'm be currently having a mental battle of beating myself up like oh you should have finished it you should have did more but the Lord knows my heart and he sees my effort and he knows what I'm coming out of and so I need to quit beating myself up about it and just be proud that I read 16 chapters out of the Bible today like wow <laughs> in one day so um yeah that that has me pretty happy um but Brian got home at about six and that's whenever I finished reading Romans and also putting up the laundry but he fell asleep he's been really tired these past three days because like I said he's been having to go in at freaking we're well, having to leave the house by five o'clock in the morning to get to work by six so I was like I told him he felt like he went to the room and lay down and that's how I know he's really sleepy because he always says no I'm not going to the room unless I'm tired so I know he was really tired today so I covered him up set the vibe in the room for him got some essential oils going covered him got the fans going and I told him I said hey I'm gonna take the boys out the house so that way you can rest because I knew if we were gonna be at the house like it was just gonna be way too much like they would have came inside crying whining I would have been yelling he wouldn't have got peaceful sleep so like, where are you going to go? I was like, well, I guess we'll just go grocery shopping right now. And then tomorrow, me and the boys can just have like a free day or whatever, like just a library and whatever else you want to do. So I'm probably going to end up having to pick up dinner because we are going to go to Sam's Club and then go to Walmart. So that is the plan. I just wanted to update you guys, let you guys know. I just took Optimus out before we let, well, before we got in the car, took Optimus out, gave him his dinner. I'm feeding him back in two different sections. So that way he doesn't get sick on me again. So half of his food in the morning, half of his food at night. So, And hopefully it'll last him longer and he won't feel the need to, like, every time he's outside, try to find food to eat. But, um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and head to these stores. Is everybody buckled? No, ma'am. Buckle up. Oh, that's Oh. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and head to these stores, you guys, and I'll... See you guys when we get there. And I hope the audio sounds better without the covering on it. So we'll see before I spend $60 on a new mic. <laughs> All right, you guys. We're going to go into Walmart after Sam's Club to get, like, the last minute things. I will insert my TikTok video of the grocery haul now because I need to hurry up and get everything put up. So here's the little grocery haul. All right, you guys. Time for another bi-weekly grocery haul. This one is from Sam's Club and Walmart. And the setup's going to be a little bit different because it's a lot. We got broccoli florets, mac and cheese, waffle fries, chicken nuggets, pizza bagels, um, Southwest chopped salad mix, carrots, bell peppers, strawberries, grapes, ground beef, sliders, chicken breast, baby bell cheese, Brussels sprouts, asparagus, celery, fish sticks, bread, perfect bar, Caesar salad, everything avocado, eggs, Two packs of almond milk, apple, hot Cheetos, Doritos, these strawberries, this more snack mix, body armors, Mexican cheese, Fairlife, uh, protein shakes, caramel water, three cases of water, and 100% juice. And then from Walmart, we got tuna, some ramen, pizza, hot pockets, chimichangas, mandarin oranges, and air filter. All right, so I just finished putting up everything. I am barely about to eat my dinner. Everyone else ate dinner about an hour ago. So, this is what, gotta love a good stocked fridge, that's a blessing in today's day and age, but, um, yeah, and then I also got my mom's Mother's Day gift, I got her some of those pajamas that I showed y'all last time that I wanted to get her, and then I bought one of these curtains because 
it's about to be summer and in our room it gets super super hot because the sun is like beating down on our side of the room however the boys son the boy side of the house gets a little bit of shade so i'm gonna switch all these white curtains out for the gray ones that are in the guest room and the boys room and then i'm gonna put the white ones in the guest room and the boys room and the reason i'm putting the white ones in the guest room is because i have my plant in there and my plant needs sun so i don't want it to be completely blacked out in the guest room whenever the heat really starts to kick in. I think today is the last day that it's going to be in the 90s, if I'm not mistaken. And then it starts dropping, and all next week it will be in the, um, all next week it will be in the 70s. So, but I wanted to get everything taken care of now, so that way we're just good and prepared. And luckily we've been getting rain, so it's been cleaning out the AC unit. I learned last year that, especially living in um, West Texas, if you do not, wash out the AC unit that's outside every once in a while, your AC works a lot harder than it needs to. So you're supposed to rinse that out, rinse all the dirt out, all the debris, but luckily we've been getting rain, so it's been working really good. Also keeping the air filters to your air conditioner changed. We change ours about once a month. Sometimes it needs it twice a month. Um, we'll just see once the temps start picking up, but my goal is to not have to put the AC above or below 70 at nighttime and below 74 during the day. So that is the goal. Hopefully we are successful this summer. So yeah, but I'm about to eat, lay down, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. Today is Friday the 12th, I think. It's the 11th. No, today's the 11th. Um, I'm just getting out of bed. It's 11 o'clock, I believe. Yeah, 11.18. I needed that. I didn't vlog it all yesterday. Yesterday was just a day the week has been a week and then the, yeah it was just rough but right now i'm in my room i don't know if you y'all remember but i told y'all i was moving curtains around so i'm gonna put all the dark gray curtains in our room because in the summer it just gets way too hot in here so i'm also gonna need to move up those things i need to move those up because the long the curtains are gonna be longer in here so they're gonna come down to the floor so i need to move all of those up and then I need to just like switcheroo some things. So I need to get my room done first, but I'm gonna go get the gray curtains out of the other rooms. But I gotta use the bathroom and brush my teeth and all that stuff first. All right, you guys, all chores are done now. Stop, this car's we're gonna cross the street. Um, we are walking to the skate ranch now to have some fun. It's um, homeschool day. So we're walking now. Did you walk the back door? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ethan was on a cowboy hat. Can you hold my hand? Come on, run, go. Yeah, all cars be coming out of nowhere. Oh man, I forgot that there's. Dang. We're gonna have to recross the street again because I didn't want to walk on our yard because there's like no sidewalk. So we crossed the street, but now we're about to go down another part that also doesn't have a sidewalk. But yeah, we're walking to the skate ranch. I'll see you guys in a little bit. And then I'll show you guys the curtains when we got home. I'm in love with mine and Brian's bedroom now. Like it's just, it's just a whole vibe in our bedroom now. And yeah, in the boys' room, now they have like the thermal control, thermal control curtains but they also show a little bit of light so that way they can keep them closed but still be able to play in their room and it's not too dark. Stop, stop. This way. Okay, hey, y'all stay up there. Y'all stay up there. All right, you guys, we are here. Quick little three minute walk, I would say. It's time to just have some fun.
Got the skates on. Pingy, not that one. You guys, the sound might sound terrible right now, but I just wanted to update you guys and show you guys. We got some pizza, we're still here at the skate ranch. We'll, we'll probably leave after we get some pizza. I'll see you guys later.